Hi, my name is Ashish and welcome to this video tutorial of Pressure Shop Pre-order. In this video, I will show you how the merchants can add and manage pre-orders in their Pressure Shop stores. In an online store, the products can go out of stock for a number of reasons. And if a customer visits your store and finds out the product he is looking for is out of stock, he will probably leave your store without purchasing anything. With the pressure shop pre-order extension, the store admin can now sell the products that are out of stock or yet to be launched. But before proceeding further, I would like you to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive latest updates from our end. Now let's understand the workflow of our module. After the installation of the module, two new tabs, product and orders gets added under pre-order. From these tabs, admin can add and manage the pre-order products and orders. Now let's add a pre-order product. Here, the admin needs to select the product for which he wants to set the pre-order. The admin can set the pre-order on all the combinations of products at once or select the combination for which he wants to set the pre-order. Here, the admin can select the payment type as full payment, partial payment or dynamic payment. In case of full payment, the customer needs to pay the full product amount to pre-order the product. And in case of partial payment, the admin can set partial price that a customer has to pay to pre-order the product. And in case of dynamic payment, the admin can set the minimum expected amount. The customer has to pay the price, any price between the minimum expected amount and product's actual price to pre-order the product. Now let's create a pre-order product with the full payment type. Enable this field to show the pre-order timer on the product page. Here, admin can set the quantity that will be added in the product when the product becomes a normal product. Here, the admin can set the quantity, maximum quantity for which the pre-order can be placed. And here, set the expected date of product availability. Once added, the admin can enable, disable, edit or delete the pre-order. Click here to view the product image and the pre-order details. Now let's add a pre-order with partial and dynamic payment type. Once the admin has added the pre-order product, he can choose to complete the pre-order before the expected date. Now let's have a look at the front end. A new category pre-order gets available on the store. The customers can view all the products available for pre-order by clicking here. Now let's discuss the module configuration. From here, 
the admin can choose to display pre-order price, original price or both on the pre-order product page in case of partial and dynamic payment. If selected pre-order price, then only the pre-order price will display on the product page. If the admin has selected original price, then the actual price of the product will display on the product page. And if selected both, then both the pre-order price and the actual price of the product will display on the product page. Enable this option to allow the guest user to purchase the pre-order product using the partial payment option. Here we can see that the guest user can order a pre-order product using the partial payment option. And if the option is disabled, then the guest user won't be able to purchase a pre-order product using the partial payment option. Here we can see a message is getting displayed that you need to log in to buy the pre-order product. Using this option, the admin can restrict adding of a pre-order product and a normal product into a single cart. When a customer tries to add a pre-order and a standard product in a single cart, a message will display to him that he is not allowed to purchase pre-order product with the normal products. Enable this option to show the availability date for pre-order on the pre-order product page. In these two fields, the admin can set the message that will display for full payment and partial or dynamic payment on the product page. Now let's have a look at the process of pre-ordering the products. The customer can pre-order the product by paying the full product amount upfront. In case of partial payment, the customer can pay the partial price set by admin from the back office to pre-order the product. And in case of dynamic payment, the customer can pay any amount between the minimum expected amount and the full product amount to pre-order the product.
the customer can view a list of orders placed for the pre-order products under the pre-order pre-order orders tab in the list the customer can view the date on which he has pre-ordered the product total amount paid for the pre-order and its status the admin can also view the orders placed for the pre-order products under the orders tab the admin can view the customer's name who has pre-ordered the product status of the pre-order whether it has been completed or not and the remaining amount in case of partial payment done by customer to pre-order the product after placing the order when the product becomes available a new button complete pre-order gets available on the order details page by clicking on this button the customer gets redirected to the shopping cart page where he needs to pay the remaining amount to complete the pre-order if the admin cancels the order then the available quantity of the product gets updated earlier the quantity of this product was 99 and after cancelling the order the quantity of the product has been updated to 100 so this was all about our pressure shop pre-order module i hope you like this video thank you for watching this video and have a great day ahead